Oh boy. Well, here we go again, huh? Good old Pokemon Go. Gotta love this company, huh? Good times, anyway. So today, they've announced the next Community Day. It looks like it's actually gonna be Stuffle, which is actually a really good choice. I was not expecting this Pokemon. We all thought it was gonna be um, Geodude, honestly, but uh, what do you know, it's Stuffle. So yeah, we were all, I was pretty excited. We were all very excited, but then I looked at the comment section and well, yeah. Uh, something, something is wrong here. Uh-oh. What's going on? Well, <clears throat> if we look at the wonderful Niantic blog post, yeehaw. You can actually see right underneath, we have Community Day Adjustments. Now, here we go. We're going to read this out. Now, let's see what it says here. We wanted to take a moment to discuss some changes to the Community Day format we'll be testing in 2020. We doubled the length of our community day events to six hours. Since then, we've found that only 5% of the trainers actually participate in the event for more than three hours. Yeah, because, you know, people have jobs, you know, people got lives and stuff, you know. You know, people got families got to take care of, you know, they got events to attend and stuff, you know. But uh, look at this. One of the biggest pieces of positive feedback we received after January's three-hour Community Day Classic was that players and community leaders noticed how much more of the community was out and about during the event. So for Stuffle Community Day, we return to the three-hour formats. Our hope is that doing so will create even more opportunities for trainers to play together and connect outside of other exploring. So yeah. To, uh, to encourage players to go outside and explore together, we are reducing the amount of hours of the event day that encourages players to go outside and explore, right? Isn't that great? Yeah. So isn't that, isn't that wonderful, huh? Isn't that fan-fucking-tastic, yeah? I'm just shaking my head here, man. I just don't understand this company and how they process things. So they decided to reduce... The amount of hours of the community today from six hours to three. So now it's 2 p.m. to 5 a.m. again or 5 p.m. Sorry. So back to the uh, the usual hours that these used to be. And, you know, the problem with that is that they're just not listening to the community. They're not listening to us. They're doing these things. They're making these changes without even like you know, making sure the community is okay with that, you know? So you think they'll, like, run a poll or something or, like, make a tweet or something. Say, hey, trainers, how would you feel about this? But no, apparently, they're deciding to do it because, like, yeah, we saw more people were out during the Bulbasaur Community Day. You want to know why people were out during the Bulbasaur Community Day? Because, well, let's look at the community days we had so far this year. We had January, which was Spiel. Of course, it was uh, pretty cold out and all that stuff, but, you know, Spiel. It is a brand new Shiny, which was cool. And honestly, this was a pretty exciting Community Day. Then we had, in the same month, we had Bulbasaur Community Day. And this is the Community Day Classic they decided to try out. And it was only three hours, like the original Community Days. And at first, oh, that's cool. It would be nice to see these, you know, reoccurring. We thought this would be like a reoccurring thing, like maybe like every two months. They'll give us another Community Day Classic. Oh, cool. So now we're getting even more Community Day action. But it uh, turns out, yeah, this Community Day had a much darker intention. If only we knew, huh? If only we knew that this Community Day was like a test for something much more sinister. But, uh, of course, we didn't know. And then what do you know? February Community Day, they decided to go with Hop Hip. Yeah. Isn't that great? Hop Hip. What a, what a useful Pokemon he was, huh? Then we had March Community Day, which was Sanchu and Alolan Sanchu. And honestly, I had a lot of fun with this Community Day. But this was actually when Nighty decided to nerf the incense. And basically playing this Community Day from home was pretty much borderline impossible. So I had to go out to the park and play. Which I usually do anyways. But, you know, for this day, like I was kind of like having to do some work for college. But I was like, you know what? Let me try playing this one from home. Why not? But I ran my incense. But of course, they nerfed the incense. So I was like, you know what? Fine. I guess I'll go out and play. And I did. And you know what? I don't regret it. But, you know, I guess that wasn't enough to reduce the incense. So you, it's impossible to play from home. 
that was not enough for these guys. So they're like, you know what? Let's reduce it down to three hours. So it's like, you know what? They decided we want our community to go outside and play, but we're also reducing the amount of hours of that play time to encourage them to go outside and play. It's like, what sense does that make? Because here's the thing, like in my community, at least when I go to the park, I always see a whole bunch of people out there playing, you know, I see a lot of people out there playing, but guess what happens as soon as that community day is over, they start to disperse. They all go in their cars and they go home for the day because that's how it is. People go out to play during the community days. Once they're over, it's back to their lives. But now we're back at 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. So you only have three hours. And, you know, the reason they're saying they're doing this is because they're saying trainers didn't play for all six of those hours. Like 45% of our trainers actually played the full six hours. And because, like I said, it's because people have things to do, you know. People can't dedicate their whole lives to a single mobile game. But Nitic just thinks we can do that. Like people, I don't know why. Like why, man? Like when they do these events like Safari Zones... And like, you know, back when GoFest was like a, only a physical event, it's like they expect people to buy plane tickets to fly to these events just to play a mobile game. It's like, what the hell? <laughs> I just don't understand, man. I'm just trying to figure out the logic here, but I just cannot figure this out, which is why I'm making this video, because I'm just trying to process this information. And the thing about the six hour calm days, too, is not only, of course, it give you more chances to get the shiny and, you know, a better IV shiny on top of that. But, you know, if you were busy on that day, let's say you had to, like, go to, like, a birthday party or something, or you had to, like, run some errands for, like, your grandfather or something, you actually have the time in the day to do it because, you know, you had six hours. So, you know, you can actually work around your schedule and still have fun. But now, back to the three hours, looks like you got to play on their terms. And that seems like that's what they want you to do. And that's what Niantic wants you to do. They want you to play on their terms and that is just very annoying man i just do not understand that logic it's like they want us to go outside they want us to explore but at the same time it's like they want us to explore and go outside on their terms like i just don't i just don't understand this and i'm seeing a lot of you know pokemon go youtubers right now making videos about it and they're like yeah well i think it's okay because the community has been shrinking but ever since you know, the last community day, there was a lot more people out. It's because, you know, the incense was nerfed. You can't play at home anymore. So, you know what? You are going to see a lot more people out. But guess what? You're going to be seeing a lot more people out for even shorter amounts of time now. I guess that's what Niantic wants. As long as there's just more people out there outside. <laughs> but I guess for a short amount of time, I mean, I don't know. You just think the incense nerf would have been enough here, but I guess not. So, there we go. That is my uh, that's my rant about the uh, community day here, and it's just the fact that the company's not listening to us. Like I'm not mad at the fact that the community day is shorter. I'm like, oh great, obviously it's going to make it really hard to get, you know, a good CP, good IV, shiny stuff. Well, obviously it's going to be really hard now because I'm assuming the shiny rates are going to be the same, which you know they're pretty good on community days, obviously. But you know I don't know about you, but when I play community day sometimes, especially with the Sancho community day. I had like a moment where I like I was having like a 30 to 40 minute gap with no shinies. <laughs> so imagine that when you only got three hours to play. You know what I'm saying? It's like, damn. I mean, if they're going to do this shit, they should at least like boost that shiny rate even higher. <laughs> I don't know. You know, they're not going to do it. But uh, let's see. The, let's see the bonuses here because they're saying, well, to make up for the shorter calm day, we got higher bonuses. So we got double catch candy. You know, for a Pokemon, it needs 400 candy to evolve. So I guess that's that's nice, I guess. Ugh, I guess. Look at this shit. Lower modules. Look at this. One extra special trade. Wow. Should be a guaranteed lucky trade at this point. God damn. Let's see this. Look, 50% less starters for special trades. Cool, whatever. But you got to do this during the event, right? Two hours after the event, actually. Okay. But uh, look at this shit. Look, here's, here's the bonus. Here's the bonus. Look at this. If enough Pokemon are caught by trainers from a single lore, it has to be a single lore, the three times XP bonus for catching Pokemon near that Lord module will be increased to four times catch XP for 30 minutes. So only 30 minutes, you get slightly higher XP. Like, wow, real nice. Cool, dude. XP, what a, what a great reward, huh? 
Like, goddamn. Like, I just don't understand, man. Like, come on, bro. Right, look at this. The community day box will actually be cheaper now. So that's another thing they're doing. They're reducing the price of that overpriced community day box. And it comes with a remote rate pass. So, you know, if you have three remote rate passes, guess what? You can't buy the box until you use that one. Ha <laughs> ha. But yeah, seriously, look at this. 15 pineapple berries. Like, oh, wow. Of course, Elite Fast Gym, because we all know how useful those are, right? <laughs> no. But seriously, this is just so annoying, man. Niantic needs to listen to their community, you know? Like, they just got to listen to the community, you know? Just listen to them. But they're never going to. I'm making this video for nothing. Like, no one's going to watch this video and be like, Oh, yes, we must take a stand. We must fight. I mean, hopefully, you know, someone watches this and, you know, can be like, yeah, you know, I agree with you. Like, let me know down below. What do you think about this? You know, like, what do you think about... <laughs> The Stuffle Community Day. I mean, it's a really cool Pokemon. Let's take a look at uh, the move first. Let's see the Calm Day move, of course. It's going to be Drain Punch. Check this out. It's only 20 power, but you get a guaranteed user defense buff, which is actually pretty good. It's like Power Up Punch, but you get a defense buff. And Beware being a fighting type, that is a stab with the fighting. So that's going to be extra damage on top of the 20 power. But the defense buff, every time you do it with a shield bait, that's pretty nasty. But uh, let's let's take, uh, let's take a look at stuff over here. This is uh, Game Press. Love this website for any uh, Pokemon information. I always come here. And check this out. Look at the max CP on this guy. Level 50. This guy can reach 1,500 plus CP. So <laughs> this guy actually might be usable in Great League, eh? If he actually has a decent moveset. But look at the stats, too. He actually has pretty decent stats for a little Pokemon. Level 40, he's got 1,300 plus CP. That's pretty impressive. But, of course, in the wild, he's going to be kind of in this range. So be on the lookout for those 900 plus CP stuff holes. Those are the ones you really want to keep your eyes on. But, yeah, here we have Beware. And look at this. Yeah, once again, as I said before, it costs 400 candy to evolve into Beware. So that's pretty nasty. I don't know how much Stardust it's going to cost for the extra charge attack. We don't know yet. Hopefully it'll be 10,000 dust, but no one I take. It's going to be like a 7,500 dust on this guy because look at that CP. Here's Beware. Level 50, 3,500 CP, dude. Woo, that's a lot of CP. Really big CP on that guy. And look at the stats. He's got a very impressive attack stat, very high stamina. Look at that. Very impressive stamina, very high attack. And honestly, his defense, not the greatest, but not too shabby. But yeah, with that stamina, this guy's going to be pretty nasty in battle, I hope. You could only hope, you know. It all depends on those fast attacks, you know, and his charge attacks. Like, we just got to hope his fast attacks are going to be decent. But, you know, I am excited for this community day still. I look forward to it. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I can get myself a good IV, decent CP shiny. If not, well, I guess I just got to wait until December where we probably will get another three hours. <laughs> I don't know. I hope for December we at least get like, you know, six hours for December at least, right? Right? I don't know, man. You know, I'm saying like, they're saying the reason why they decided to nerf the hours is because Bulbasaur Calm Day was so popular. You know what? If Bulbasaur Community Day Classic was so popular, how come we didn't have any more Community Day Classics, huh? You think they would have done more of these Community Day Classics, you know? Like, after Hop Pip, you know, for March, you know, we could have seen, like, another Community Day Classic. Then, you know, it would have made a little bit more sense. Like, oh, okay, yeah, those are doing pretty good. But, man, what a shame, man. <clears throat> All I'm hoping at this point is if we're going to stick to the three-hour Community Days, I just hope that they, you know, they continue to increase the bonuses, you know? Like, give us better bonuses than, you know, like this. Like, I want to see better bonuses, though, than this. Like, this is a joke. Like, for the Triple Catch Stardust Calm Day, like, we got to see, like, really good Stardust bonuses for that, right? Like, we got to see some good Stardust bonuses for that shit. If you're going to only give us three hours to grind out for Stardust now, it's like, damn. Uh, you're making it harder to play this game, man. That's what sucks, because I love this game so much. I don't like making videos like this. I'm just trying to figure out what the hell is going on here, but I guess nobody knows except for them. I don't even think they know what's going on half the time, you know? <laughs> Uh, poor Niantic. I gotta feel sorry for them sometimes.
pretty sure Pokemon Go is like the only successful game they have right now. They're doing this to it. It's like, God damn, man. <laughs> God damn. Anyway, yeah. I don't know what more I can say. It's just another ramble rant kind of thing on the state of this game and the three hour community days. Like I said, though, yeah, I'm just hoping if they're going to continue with this three hour calm day shit, the next calm day better be just as good as this Pokemon choice. Like, I want to see big CP, super strong Pokemon, you know. Like, a lot of us thought it was going to be Geodude for the next calm day, you know, like Geodude with Alolan Geodude. Like, we thought it was going to be all the Alolan forms, but Stuffle is a pleasant surprise here. I guess this is going to be the experiment, huh? Like, if this one doesn't do too good, maybe they'll go back to six with the next one. I don't know. I doubt it. It seems like at this point, like I said, Niantic's just not listening to us anymore. They listened once with the incense or the uh, spin radius decrease. They actually listened to us there, which was great. But for, you know, the incense nerf and now the calm day hours nerf, it's like, what's next? What's next? Like, how much more can this? How much more can this company take away from us? I just don't know, man. Like, we're playing this game like every single day. We love this game so much, and yet all they're doing is taking away at this point. That's what it feels like, and it's a real damn shame. And they're taking away because they want us outside. So to encourage us to go outside, they're taking away our bonuses, and that just that just makes no sense to me. Anyway, I'm done here. I'm going to bed now. All right. See you guys later. Good night.